girl did what she did, told us what she was, yeah. help us out. I'm yeah. so proud of her. That's like she thing. did something. Yep. Yeah. She did something. So I'm, gl yeah. I'm glad because I'm glad she was on her toes. Probably would have yeah. been just lost. lost. Thankfully, her sending her location helped police bring suspect. I was so afraid to see what she looked like knowing what happened. And my sister looked good, like she looked real good. And that, that warmed my heart. Like that was the most thing, the most thing that I was worried about. Y'all, we got to talk. This ain't just another news clip. It's a tale so cold, it'll freeze your soul. Picture this mahogany Jackson, just 20, a mother with her whole life ahead, met a fate no one should ever face. Birmingham, Alabama became the backdrop of a horror story that unfolded in the dead of night. Imagine the world asleep and there lies mahogany by the roadside. The Birmingham police found her, but it was too late. A life snuffed out by a bullet, but that bullet wasn't the start of her nightmare. Nah, it was the grim end. Chief Scott Thurman, with a weight in his heart, spilled the dark beans. This young soul wasn't just taken. She was tortured, assaulted in ways that make any decent human's blood boil. And the twist, it was her friends, eight people she knew, orchestrating this agony, capturing her last breath like some twisted trophy. In a desperate cry for help, Mahogany texted her mom, send the police at apartment three, I'm held hostage, please don't call. Can you feel that? The panic, the fear, yet when help arrived, it was too late. She was gone, moved by her captors, leaving behind a trail of sorrow and unanswered questions. The culprits, caught. But does that bring Mahogany back? Brandon Pope, Francis Harris, Jeremiah McDowell, Giovanni Clapp, Blair Green, Sonia McCall, Tija Lewis, each name a reminder of the betrayal of trust and the depths of human depravity. This ain't just a crime. It's a mirror to the darkness lurking in some hearts, a call to wake up, to stand together against such evil. Mahogany's story ain't just her own. It's a chilling reminder of the monsters walking amongst us disguised as friends. We got to do better. Be the light in this ever darkening world. Rest in power, Mahogany. Your story won't be forgotten. Eighth person now on that horrible and heinous murder of young Mahogany Jackson earlier this week. Ariana Robinson now is charged with felony murder and kidnapping. All this after one of the other suspects in this case, Jeremiah McDowell, was actually in court this morning. Our camera's there as he was facing a judge for the first time. Prosecutors say McDowell shot and killed Jackson <clears throat> while attempting to sexually assault her. He is going to stay in the Jefferson County Jail. Court records show six other suspects in this case will be in court themselves Monday. Tonight, we're hearing from family members of Mahogany Jackson and District Attorney Danny Carr about this awful case and the impact it has had on them and their community. Bria Chapman is live tonight with what she's learning from that family, Bria. Yeah, Jonathan, like you said, awful is right. But Mahogany's older sister tells me she is at peace, but she still has moments where she gets very angry after hearing from officers that at least eight people said and did nothing while sister was being sexually assaulted, tortured, beaten, and then eventually shot and killed. But they tell me they will not focus on that. Instead, they will remember Mahogany and those happier times they had with her. She was our baby. Like, she was literal baby. Like, the baby of the crew. We knew how Hoggy. <laughs> Yeah. That's how Mahogany Jackson's siblings and cousins say they will remember her. They tell me she was the life of the party who always knew how to stand up for herself. And her family says she did that to the very end. My girl did what she did, told us what she was, yeah. help us out. I'm yeah. so proud of her. That's like she thing. did something. Yep. Yeah. She did something. So I'm, gl I'm glad because I'm we, glad she was on her toes. probably would have yeah. been just lost. lost. Thankfully, her sending her location helped police bring suspect.
location helped police bring suspects into custody. And now those suspects are facing charges for what officials described as horrific, even barbaric acts. And some of those things depicted were so bad, her big sister was afraid to see her. I was so afraid to see what she looked like knowing what happened. And my sister looked good, like she looked real good. And that, that warmed my heart. Like that was the most thing, the most thing that I was worried about. But Maddox says she is angry about what happened to Mahogany, but right now she has to be there for her mother and her three-year-old niece, Nadia. Of course she's taking it hard, you know. I, I, that's my sister, but that's her daughter. Right. And that's just a different type of pain. Right. And I have kids myself, so I, I, I just can only imagine. And what happened to Mahogany is being described by leaders like District Attorney Danny Carr as horrific and animalistic. On top of that, some of those things were relation help police bring suspects. Something Carr says crosses the line. She has to live with this forever. Uh, I mean, there are some aspects of this situation I know that's uh, devastating to their family. But then to see it reenacted on a video is almost places you there. And then to see people continue to share it over and over. But at the end of the day, have some respect for them as well. Um, have some respect for the family. Have some respect for Mahogany. And Mahogany's family tells me they want to thank the public, all of their help in trying to bring Mahogany, Mahogany home. They say they are so grateful for that. And her family plans to lay her to rest next Saturday. And again, eight suspects are being held in the Jefferson County Jail with no bond. Family, friends, and the community coming together tonight to honor and remember Mahogany Jackson, the 20-year-old who was found shot dead early Monday morning, just a day after she was reported missing. Police. We're just really taking it day by day. Um, for me, I'm more at peace a little bit um, because they got everybody like within 24 hours. And tonight, city leaders are asking the public to help a family who is already going through the unimaginable right now. Taylor Pollock joins us. And Taylor, what are they saying tonight? Yeah, that's right, Steve. Brittany, the story is very hard to listen to, and it's impacted not only Jackson's family and friends, but even total strangers who were shaken by this shocking crime gathered today to honor her life and legacy after police say she was held against her will and tortured before she was killed. BPD have arrested seven in connection with her death and have said some of these people recorded some of that attack on Jackson. We're hearing reports now that video is circulating online. That video was